And as the number of vote counts changes, so does the atmosphere at each party's election headquarters in the National Assembly, where our correspondents are reporting from. We're going to take the parties in the order of their election number symbols. First, let's connect to the DP headquarters. Hyung, what's it like there? I'm currently at the headquarters of the Democratic Party of Korea, where, as you can see behind me, not many, but actually very few members of the election campaign committee are remained now after I'm um, checking the exit poll results. And the DP leader Lee Jae-myung, who is also the co-chair of the election campaign committee, has returned to his constituency's election office, um, which is placed in the Incheon's um, Kaeyang district, and watching the um, vote count there. And unlike the situation situation now, cheers and applause broke out at this site immediately after the exit polls were released, which showed that the combined seats for the DP and its satellite party, the Democratic United Party, are expected to range from 178 to 196, surpassing the party's target level, which was at least 151 seats. And despite such results, Lee Jae-myung was also clapping with the members, but was relatively calm compared to other members of the party as the final were yet to come out. Take a listen to what he said before leaving the site. We will respectfully watch the decision made by the people until the end. Thank you. Then Hyung, what will the DP be watching for throughout the night? Well, Jiang, ahead of the election, the DP identified 50 districts as contested areas while officially projecting um, in to win 110 seats for elected um, lawmakers. And when the exit polls were announced based on the key battlegrounds, there were mixed reactions here in headquarters. For instance, applause broke out as the DP's candidates took the lead in the Pundang A constituency in Gyeonggi-do province, as well as in Seoul's Dongjak B district. However, regarding the Sahabi district in Busan, there were sighs as the DP's candidate was announced to be behind. And the DP sees um, the exit polls as reflection of the public's judgment of the government, which the DP has been emphasizing throughout the election campaign. And there is optimism that areas such as Seoul Dongjakdo district, where Lee jae campaigned several times, <coughs> are showing positive survey results, indicating that his leadership will gain more strength going forward. Meanwhile, the DP's election campaign committee is scheduled to convene a meeting on Thursday at 10 a.m. to deliver an official message about the 22nd general election. Thank you, Hyung. And now we go over to the headquarters of the National Assembly Library, where our Yi shi is standing by. How are things looking there, shi -hoo? Right, Cheong, I am here at the National Assembly Library where the People Power Party headquarters has been operating up until around 30 minutes ago. Now, the exit poll results were released just about six hours ago, much to the party's dis dismay, um, with the PPP and its satellite party expected to win around 87 to 105 seats. The, the air of disappointment filled the air at the time. Many actually left the room right after the results came out, leaving a a lot of the seats here empty. Now, Han dong -un, the interim leader of the party who took charge of its election campaign, also left the room soon after the poll results. Let's take a listen to what he said right before leaving. We the PPP have done our best to do politics that follow the will of the people, but the exit poll results are disappointing. However, we will watch the ballot count results and how people chose until the end. Throughout the day, Han has encouraged people to go out and vote on social media, counting down the hours left until voting officially closed, which probably made the disappointment even greater. And she, what will the PPP be watching for throughout the night? Right, so the PPP has repeatedly aimed for a stop to a large majority opposition. In the previous National Assembly, out of a possible 300 seats, the People Power Party occupied around 114, which has repeatedly led to the opposition pushing for bills that were later vetoed by the president. The PPP's main priority during this election has been changing this structure so that the party and the administration can actualize more of their agenda. Now, what what they really wanted to avoid is the case where the opposition across parties occupies over 200 seats. 
In this case, the opposition may use their large majority to push for a constitutional revision in the National Assembly and also restrict the president's veto right. The party has asked the people to give them enough seats and the power to do the work it wants to do. And this stance remains unchanged at the National Assembly right now as we speak. That's all I have for this hour, but I'll be back with more updates in a later newscast. Back to you, ji -young. Thank you, Shihu. Our Yi Shihu and Shin Ha-young live from the National Assembly. Thank you.